vitamin C A magical pill what happens when you take vitamin C daily. Also known as ascorbic acid, vitamin C is a water, soluble vitamin, that's exceptionally easy to absorb and can be taken in quite high, doses. It has a venerable history and was made famous in the 1980s, when Dr. Linus Pauling the only person to receive two Nobel Prizes, in a lifetime pioneered its use for treating terminal cancer patients and, preventing the common cold. By using doses of 20 grams or more a day, 20,000 milligrams, he was able to keep terminal cancer patients alive, for much longer than others with the same cancers who didn't dose up, on vitamin C. Those who have followed in Pauling's footsteps have also, shown how vitamin C can help prevent the occurrence of cardiovascular disease heart attacks. Dr. John Eli, a brilliant researcher at the University of Washington, told me years ago 10 grams of vitamin C on the FIRST day of a cold always works. After that it never works. I've found his words to be true, as have many of my patients. Vitamin C is vital for the proper functioning of our white blood cells which fight off the invading bacteria and viruses that lead to colds and flu. Eating sugar and smoking cigarettes robs our bodies of this invaluable nutrient. So does breathing in toxic air in cities. It's been estimated that one cigarette uses up as much as 200 milligrams of vitamin C. This might not sound like much, but the RDA for vitamin C is only 60 milligrams the amount needed to keep us from developing scurvy. Vitamin C is also necessary for the functioning of the phase 1 enzymes in the liver, enhancing the clearance of toxins from the bloodstream. A deficiency of vitamin C leads to diminished clearance from the blood and greater toxic effects. Besides aiding in clearance, vitamin C helps increase the excretion of these compounds from the body. And along with vitamin E, vitamin C also protects us from the lung damage that ozone causes. So if you live in a city, especially if you're a runner or a cyclist, you need to be taking vitamin C daily. I tell people that if they live in a city, they should take at least 3000 milligrams of vitamin C a day. And if they're smokers or are in traffic, in a word, vitamin C is indispensable. I've been taking 4,000 milligrams a day for the past 20 years. Vitamin C is also important for excretion and the production of bile acids, which are toxins actual means of transport out of the liver. In a study of guinea pigs the other mammals besides human that don't manufacture their own vitamin C, short-term vitamin C deficiency reduced the levels of vitamin C in the liver by 25% and led to a 50% reduction in both the amount produced and the effectiveness of the bile that was present. Thanks for watching. Four humble requests to you. 1. Subscribe my channel. 2. Like. 3. Share with your friends and family. 4. Comment on video.